All right, hello everyone. I'm Paul from Toronto Blacksmith. This is my booth here at the Toronto Outdoor Adventure Show. I make high quality axes for uh, for campers, wood carvers, all sorts of people. I also run axe making workshops. So I'm actually, I moved out to St. Catharines not too long ago. So now I'm in St. Catharines, but I do run axe making workshops. You come in one day and you start with a raw block of steel, just like this. And in one day, you transform that into a finished axe. So you can see over here, these are all axes students have made during the class. In the back, more information on the card, that's the card. But you want to go to torontoblacksmith.com, go to classes, you'll get a lot more information there. All right. And you can make your own axe. That's nice. Yeah. So This is really so, popular on TV with all the stuff going on there, with all the shows going on there, with uh, absolutely. all the knife making shows and all that. A lot of people are very interested because of Forge and Fire. Yeah, Forge and Fire is an awesome show. I'm a regular viewer on that. I watch it as well. So, so do you train people or teach people how to do it? So I teach them one day. It's a one day class. You walk out with your very own axe. So all right. on the website there, you just a lot more information. Um, these are just some of the pieces I made for the show to kind of show off. So this is a single nice. bevel hewing axe. It's very big. You can see it has a, the blade comes out wider here. It's about four pounds. It's a double bevel hewing axe, sorry. Uh, over here, this is a show piece. So it's a double axe. That's I actually cool. have a video on YouTube about this. Um, if you go to my website, you'll find my uh, YouTube channel. Um, that's a neat piece. I just made that one for fun. Yeah, and that's kind of cool. Some of the more regular axes yeah, I do. So. That's very artistic. Yep. So this one's punched in there. It's and very nice to show it off. Useful, like they're practical. Like yeah. So everyone here, except for this one, right. of course, this is a show piece. But <laughs> this is used for scoring beams. These are nice little camp ha uh, hatchets. Yeah. yeah. That's mostly what I do, kind of camp axes, and I also do these kind of carving axes as well. But so that's it. You can see my website for more All information. Right. If you want to make your own axe, go up to my website as well. So that looks really cool. From you. So TorontoBlacksmith.com. That's it. That looks pretty sharp, man. You got some nice stuff here. They get a custom axe from you instead of making their own. <laughs> I don't do custom work anymore. It's all stock work now. That is very nice. It's a carving axe there. That's very nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So? No, you're fine, you're fine. I'd be glad to help. It's my last name? Oh, okay. When I first someone asked me and I tried to ask it, it's horrible, eh? Like part of the the thing went to Yeah. 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 Yeah.